I know a lot of you are already thinking what a lot of people think when they first see me. Wow, look at her. She is really brunette. <laughs> I get that a lot. This is my natural hair color, but I used to dye my hair to cover the gray till I thought, why? Who's gonna see all the way up here? It's true, the average man in America is five foot 10. The average woman is five foot three. I'm five foot 13. <laughs> Being abnormally tall has its advantages. Your friends can easily find you in crowded places. Okay, everyone, if we get separated, let's all meet back at Lauren. <laughs> That's me. Um, you can assist the elderly by reaching things off the top shelf at the grocery store. I could, but I don't. <laughs> random people come up to you and say random things like, wow, you must have played basketball. Do I look like an athlete to you? The only court I'm running up and down has the word food in front of it. <laughs> Another fun thing about being all the way up here is trying to find pants long enough that don't look like you're expecting a flood. <laughs> These are regular length pants. <laughs> this is probably supposed to be a dress. <laughs> Finally, I gave up shopping in stores and now I buy all my clothes where Wonder Woman buys hers at Amazon.Amazon.com. <laughs> All of my friends are a lot shorter than me. One of my friends came up to me the other day to about here. And she said, hey, Lauren, are you seeing anyone? Are you kidding? From up here, I see everyone. So I had a bit of a random thought the other day. With all the advancements in science and technology and social media that didn't even exist a few years ago, how would, it, how would the stories in the Bible be different if they occurred in today, as opposed to way back then? And the first example I thought of was loaves and fishes, okay? You all know the loaves and fishes story, right? So imagine, it's 2017, and there's a big crowd gathered. We're all there together, okay? And we're all passing around the baskets of fish, and we're all passing about the baskets of bread, and we're all passing around the baskets of hand sanitizer. <laughs> Um, I am brand new at this uh, comedy. I've been doing it for a few months, and I would like to give a shout out to the State Farm uh, Don Johnson Agency right there. Thank you so much, and True Colors Foundation for helping people discover their passion. That's awesome. I think that this might be my passion. I'm just getting started, but hey, it's the middle of August. I'm standing in a parking lot. Sweat is rolling down my back, telling jokes. So kids, remember, dreams really do come true. That's my time. Thank you so much.